So the ICT prepared a study and a plan to deploy a national digital ID, which is an identity identity system that can be loaded on your respective mobile phone. Um, marami po kasi tanding kailangan gamitin yung national ID no isa doon yung sa social amelioration package natin for DSWD mga 4Ps etong fuel subsidy na inannounce na po ni Secretary Jimmy Bautista eh lahat po yon kailangan ma-validate po natin yung mga recipients tunay ba sila hindi hindi double recipient double registrant or baka patay na pero nagge-claim pa rin so So, yung National Digital ID will be a, a good mechanism to filter out all these gaps or these um, uh, holes no, in the bureaucracy that are being exploited. Okay. The uh, topic of discussion was uh, the deployment of a National Digital ID. As you all may be aware, Uh, we've had this uh, FILSIS ID system that, um, that has been assigned to the Philippine Statistics Authority to provide a national ID system. And uh, so the data capturing uh, occurred uh, several years back uh, and, and everybody's been waiting for their physical uh, plastic uh, ID. So a lot of um, uh, Delays have already happened and uh, um, there are many of our countrymen who have been complaining that up to this date they have not yet received their national ID. And so the president um, has uh, expressed his uh, impatience uh, because a lot of things uh, needed to be done and it's all dependent on the deployment of a national ID. Actually, a few months back, uh, the president tasked the DICT to figure out how do we now deploy a national ID without having to wait forever for the plastic ID card. So, DICT prepared a study and a plan to deploy a national digital ID, which is an identity, identity system that can be loaded on your respective mobile phones. Actually, this is already a um, leapfrogging no? because in most countries, developed countries in the world, they are actually using digital IDs rather than physical card IDs because this has more use cases and it allows for better online transactions dahil karamihan tampo natin ng mga netizens are already doing online transactions. And this became more urgent because during the pandemic, uh, most of us has actually shifted from physical um, um, cash transactions to online transactions, which gave rise to actually a significant uh, increase in online commerce as well as digital payment systems. So, nalaganap yung ano po, no? yung, uh, yung digital... Uh, e-wallets uh, dahil dumami po yung mga gumagamit nito during the pandemic. So, this became more more urgent that um, in order to secure our transactions online, eh dapat po there is a valid way of verifying the identity of each person that is transacting online. Kaya po, um, uh, nipropose natin sa ating mahal na Pangulo uh, na DICT will take the lead in developing and deploying a digital ID uh, most especially on a mobile platform. Uh, Nag-register for FILSIS yung meron na pong digital version ng ID nila? Um, actually, they don't have to register po. Once na nag-capture na po ng FILSIS system yung data nila, 
eh, we can convert that into a digital format. Since digital yung capture, eh. yung facial recognition, yung biometrics, lahat digital yan. Eh. So, gagawa lang kami ng system para i-connect yung eGov super app natin para ma-access yung data. So, that's where we are, that's where DICT is involved in connecting. So, once ma-connect natin yon, ma-integrate natin, so we, we will have what we call a single sign-on system with an EKYC, an electronic know your customer system. So, uh, the way we intend to do it is you would now be able to transact um, online using your mobile devices.